Ahlan wa sahlan. It's Eli A. Ruth, editor in chief of Foobies, and I'm going to show you my favorite food around Anaheim's Little Arabia. This neighborhood is a Middle Eastern food paradise, just minutes away from Disneyland. I've been eating at these restaurants since I was a little kid, and I can't wait to share these gems with you. Yalla, this is my chomping grounds. First up on the list is Fern El Hara for their delicious baked goods. Fern, which translates to oven in Arabic, is where all the magic happens. The walls of these ancient wood-fired ovens have lit up millions of cheese, za'atar, spinach, and minced meat pies over the years. I never come to El Hara without ordering something with za'atar. It's a Middle Eastern blend of spices that I put on everything. Here, they serve it traditionally by mixing it with olive oil to spread on their me'ish and for their sandwich wraps. So I got the holy trinity of Lebanese flatbreads that you need in your life. This is lahm bajin, which straight up translated is meat bread. This is cheese. And this is the za'atar wrap. You got your mint, you got your tomato, you got your yogurt. Perfect little bite. Lebanon in a nutshell, you know what I'm saying? And then of course, my favorite drink as a little kid. This is basically Lebanese high C. It's called bone juice. Next on the list is Zanko. They're known for their rotisserie chicken and luscious garlic sauce. Zanko was founded by an Armenian family that opened up their first location in Lebanon back in the 60s. Their chicken and garlic was so good, they now have 12 locations across California. Even the late, great Jonathan Gold was known to get his garlic fix here. We got the rotisserie chicken, still steaming. Look at the leg. Tabbouleh is also made fresh every single day. Mounds of parsley, tomatoes, mint, onion, olive oil, lemon juice. Ugh, let's go. Whenever I go to Zanko, I always like to wash down that garlic sauce with some dessert. Victory Sweets has almost every Arabic dessert you could think of, but they specialize in two of my favorites, the knefe and the baklava. Plus, they do it just like they do in the old country, lavish, intricate, and with just a little bit of butter. Baklava, to start, is made of thinly rolled layers of dough that get basted in butter and honey, filled with pistachios or cashews, and then baked to perfection. The knefe here is the real treat and star of the show. At its core, knefe is a patty of cheese and dough soaked in sweet, sweet syrup. And it can be eaten with a fork and knife or slid into a handheld sesame seed bun. Mm. The entire knefe making process is hypnotizing. I mean, look at the machine they use just to make the dough. <laughs> هاي المكنة بتاعي من عجيجة كنافي أربع أنواع كنافي بتاعي أنا بتطلع خيط ناعم خيط ناعم هذا لفي عند الشعرة شو هاي دي بنعمل فيها نوع كنافة الخشنة شعرية على الكنافة اللبنانية الناعمة نتحمم I've never seen it made like this crazy Goodness, oh my goodness. Woo! A tour of Little Arabia wouldn't be complete without some falafel and shawarma. Sahara falafel is widely known as one of the best falafels in Southern California.
The owner, Mahmoud, is a legend among men whose falafel recipe has been perfected over the past 25 years. Falafel isn't typically spicy, but Mahmoud likes to add jalapenos in the mix for a nice kick in every last bite. I love it with a little tahini and chili. So you eat it like that. But I went and ordered baba ganoush, which is an eggplant dish. Think of like the counterpart to hummus, but instead of garbanzo beans, they're using eggplant in there. It's fantastic. Despite being known far and wide for these balls of fried chickpea goodness, I can't recommend his shawarma enough. One of my favorite sandwiches in the world is just a really good beef shawarma wrap. You got your fresh pita bread, you got your marinated beef, you got your tomato, you got your tahini sauce. Today we've eaten some spicy falafel, sweet and savory knefe, zata wraps, and the juiciest chicken in the neighborhood. Anaheim is filled with delicious foods, and these mom and pop shops are known to feed you like family. Now, it's your turn to explore. This is my chomping grounds.